Christmas, you guys! Uh, it's not really Christmas, it's summer of 2023 in the real world. But let's just forget about that for a little while, because in my Peterborough save, which is naturally a lot more interesting than the real world, uh, it's 2008 and it's almost Christmas. I can I'm, I can smell uh, the the Christmas um, food in from the kitchen and presents are being wrapped as we speak, so uh, better get to it. I've been playing a little bit without um, actually making videos because if I did that, it would take forever to play this season, and I want to get on with it and maybe actually, maybe even get to season where we can do better than this because right now it's not going super great we're sort of in the same sort of dire straits that that i left you guys in or actually you left me or i don't know i, I don't know how it works exactly but i did play those seven matches that you can see right here and i'm not going to spend forever talking about the, them but i did try some different stuff like for example I've been experimenting with the uh, the sweeper position, just playing like this with no arrows or like that, and it didn't really have a lot like a large effect on uh, the the stamina, the condition, the physical condition during the match. So I just left it like this, um, or went back to this, and well, formation is sort of the same. I've been. I've been um, attempting different stuff also with the uh, one person in, in the defensive midfield or like that and the different attacking midfielders. But Basa has been playing less good than the last time we saw each other. So he's out right now and I'm trying to see if I can get Palinia going again because he did play all right last season and should improve because he's young i don't know caravana i'm sort of losing hope in this guy mm, and i think maybe i talked about that last time he's getting old and he's not really turning out all that great so just right now because i don't have a lot of central midfielders i'm using van der Par just to give him uh more chances because well he's relatively new in my setup and I should probably get Pettersson ready instead of Caravana because, well, he has more of a future, hasn't he? And I don't know about that guy. So I think probably we are ready for the next match uh, and going with these guys. Pelle, he's been playing really good um, as a sweeper especially. But because we don't have a lot of good central midfielders, I'm going to have to use him up there where he usually doesn't play quite as well. But let's see what happens. Um, yeah, it's Liverpool and we are at home, which should give us a chance, even though they are fourth. I didn't even show you the table, but we are sitting in the wrong end of the table at the moment. But there's not that far up to 10th place, but from there, from 10th, there's a gap to all the other, um, well, all the second best teams, really. So I'm hoping to close that gap. In all of the seasons so far, there has actually been uh, a time where, like a, a period of time where we've been playing really well and stringing together some wins, but it doesn't look like it's going to be this Christmas and we're already behind. 2-0. Oh my god. How did that happen? <laughs> I really need more luck than this. Um, <sighs> damn it. <laughs> okay. So one goal. I mean, we're coming from behind in too many of these matches. I think in a lot of matches we start start out getting getting behind like in in the first 10 minutes or first 20 minutes something like that it's been happening again and again 
and now we're lucky to uh, actually catch up. And we are we having more shots on target. Our defense is not playing well at all. Um, the rest of them are playing okay, I guess. Vanderpar even doesn't look great, but he has a lot of runs. I guess that's good. Um, so Rask and Kolovati, they look sort of the same, but Rask is better. So I'm going to try this 19 year old guy or maybe Peter Patterson. I don't know, actually. They both sucks. Yes, they suck, but... Uh, but there's no harm in changing when uh, when there are, uh, when the one that's already on the pitch is also performing poorly, then yeah, couldn't hurt. I guess. And we come on, no, yeah. I usually go a little bit slow around this time in the second half because I need time to consider whether I actually have to do anything. By the way, if you guys have no idea what's going on, this is the... Oh no. This is the game, the save, where I try to win something with players called Peter or Pedro or, you know, versions of the name Peter. And there's a part two and a uh, part three and a part two and a part one just of this season. And, and there's more stuff as well that you guys can find. But especially part one from this season explains everything really well with sort of a, a recap. Now, um, Junior, I don't like the way he's playing. The headers are really great, but not the tackles. I just don't really have any other options. Um, except for Pelle, Pelle Peterson, and he's not playing so well in in midfield. So maybe I should get Palinia or Farnerud and, and put them a little bit further behind. I oh, know I shouldn't do that. I need them. I need them to create the chances. I don't really know what to do except hope come on we need three points no come on find a word keep getting free kicks it's probably a good sign uh oh -uh, yeah, come on. Come on. That's all I want for Christmas. Mm-hmm. -hmm. Okay. They're playing long ball. Hmm. So at least Crouch is playing really well. Massinho isn't. And I do have better options up front than then further back junior is really really tired i'm gonna try doing some weird stuff now because they've had time to try to um try to create something uh from this from the way it is right now uh i don't know bolin palinia so palinia a little bit back and 
kit up front and then more instead of Marcinho, instead of my best player. So I'm giving the chance to some kids. Then we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Get in. No. Oh. Stupid Norwegians. Yeah, you heard me. Oh. Come on, come on, you Peter Paul. Come on, Peters. Come on. Come on, oh, or at least we got one point. I mean, I can't really complain after having been behind 2-0. Mm. Except for more, I can complain about his um, efforts from from the bench. I should have kept Massinho on. Um, but yeah, very good result is what they think. And actually, it's been more often the case than not that they've been very satisfied with my results, but I really haven't been. It's it's not good enough. It sort of evens out. I mean, six wins, six draws, but eight losses. That's too many. So we need more wins. And the next win... Maybe could be... An away match at Old Trafford on Boxing Day. I don't know. I'm going to play that match. I'm also going to play the first FA Cup round um, during this episode. And then no more. Because I want to keep them relatively short. Um, and yeah. I, I don't know what to hope for this season. Probably I'll be somewhere between 13th and 10th place in the Premier League. And Coventry will win it again. I don't know how to get a better, um, a better league finish than that without better players in central midfield. That's sort of my problem at the moment. But the flip side of that, of course, is that, um, hey, it's Christmas. No, sorry. Uh, in Britain, I guess, where Peterborough is, it's not Christmas until the 25th. But in Denmark, where I'm from, it's Christmas on the evening of the 24th. Do the whole dancing around the Christmas tree and opening the gifts and everything, eating a lot of delicious Christmas foods. So now we skipped past the 25th and now it's Christmas. Um, well, my Boxing Day, I guess. The 26th of December 2008. And it's the last bit of 2008, of course. So we might hope for better results in the new year. Now, he's... Palinia played well. So maybe I should keep him in. Yeah, his form has improved as well. There's also Kid. Mm, but you're not going to win anything with Kids, are you? Cronin, Crouch. So Williamson. I could maybe opt for Williamson instead of Crouch, but I'm hoping this guy, at some point, I'm hoping he will score. And just because this is the Christmas episode with uh, Peter Crouch dressed as Santa Claus, um, as the thumbnail for this episode, I'm ho really hoping that uh, he'll live up to the hype and start scoring some goals. I don't know. This guy. Hmm. Let's 
So, oh, one thing that I want to show you guys. I just uh, did the search the other day. If you go and maybe maybe some of you guys don't know this. If you search for your own club, then your players will turn up. It's pretty nice at the end of the season because you can sort by average rating. Like that. And do that in, a, in an easier way than on the team screen, for example, by defenders like I'm doing here. Uh, that's easy to see that I've, I've only got three good defenders and Pele Peters and I'm using him in midfield. So, yeah, that's it's a very nice, but it, you can also use it to find like set piece takers and stuff like that. Or maybe, let's say, someone who's good at leadership. Those are the people good at leadership and do any of them have Decent determination, sure, and are any of them older than 25? Yeah, so maybe, yeah, I used to have Peter Williamson as, as, um, as captain. At the moment, I'm using Farnerud, also because he's the star of the show, right? Nine million. Hmm. But what I really wanted to show you wasn't this... Wait, away with the age, like that. Instead, I want to show you that you could also search for the players that are recommended by a league scout, even though they're already at your club. So this is the number of players recommended by the league scout number one, league scout number two, and league scout number three. And that's actually weird because I did this same search earlier this season and some of them, oh, what's going on? It's because of the skills, right? Of course, like this, these are the players recommended by League Scout number one. So four of them um, should be really, really good. Like Peter Stenmark. And oh yeah, Pele is, is probably also good, but some of them have the, the H for highly recommended. That's my Basa and that's my senior. League Scout 2 has some of the play same players recommended, but now it's Palinia instead of my Basa. But also Junior. And this Young guy, kid, of course, Massinho. And League Scout 3 says Palinia as well. So that's two votes for Palinia. And again, uh, Massinho, of course, they all agree about him. But they, he also says that Peter Moore is a good talent. And that's great because he's also young. So I can sort of predict which areas of the club that I might have players for a long while that well players that are available to play for a long while in these places but a lot of them are foreigners of course Peter Cech, Malbasa, Junior, Massinho and also Palinia so that's a problem hmm right back to the match it's all about Man United and I think I'm going with the same selection, almost. Um, never mind, Lee Man, he's unhappy, but nothing to do about that right now. More, Silo, Williamson could probably be a better choice from the bench. And. Manchester United looked like this at this point in time. They have Brian Robson as manager. They're probably playing 4 4 2. Yes. Direct. And they even have a Peter. 
and trying to get this guy, but he's on a contract for 58,000, which is way more than I can pay. So, no dice. Um, but let's see how that goes. They actually have one more Peter. They also have Peter Dein from Denmark, and that's a bit funny. If, if you're Danish and you know Peter Dein, then you know why it's funny. Right. Um, save. Just on the off chance that I forgot something stupid. They're 17th in the league, so hopefully we can uh, bring another nail to their coffin. And Oh, no, no, no. This always happens. I always fall behind. Same minute. Come on, Christmas. No. Sort of looks like the last match, except we're not two goals behind. Um, but it's the same problem areas. Hmm. Let's slow it down a little bit. Mm. We're playing well enough. More shots on target than they have. Perarask is not really um, playing up to par. And Brolin looks terrible out there. So I'm going to get Peterson on. And I think Palinia looks good, even though he only has seven. Farnerud is, of course, the best player. My forwards are doing well. And Peter Crouch, he just needs a goal, doesn't he? He got the assist. He deserves to get an 8 for this effort. Junior is getting tired as always. Rask is the biggest problem at the moment. I don't really have anything. Well, I could do this. I could do the same as last time. Like this. Get Kid on because I like him. So Kid... Over here, Pelle Peterson back, Palinja up here, and Kid just next to uh, Farnold. Hopefully, that can cause a bit of oh, a bit of uh, I don't know havoc in the Man United end of uh, of the pitch. Right now, they're playing. In, in the wrong end. Let's get it away from our goal. And yes, a lot better. Come on. Fine. We need the win. I mean, getting draws and all that stuff, it's, it's not enough in the situation that we're in. Come on. Yes. Christmas, isn't it? It's a time where dreams come true and stuff. And I've been um, 
behaving all year. Come on, come on, come on. No, no. Thank you. Thank you, Ref. That was a correct decision. Surely there was no foul involved. It was Junior and he's uh, soft as a lamb. And a good effort from him. Even though the tackles, well, I don't like the look of them still. Uh, losing half of his tackles. But um, Massinho was the one who made the difference for us today. And uh, then um, the... The introduction of Kidd to this to this match in the 70th minute also made a difference because he provided the assist and a lot of other good stuff. Actually, he's been playing well. He probably deserves a match um, from a place in the starting lineup pretty soon. This was great. Finally, finally a win. And look... We've nearly made contact with uh, the teams in, well, in 10th place and up. It's not that far even. Well, it is. But it's, I mean, it's less than 10 points up to, um, to fourth place. 10 points to third place. It's not impossible. It's just unrealistic given the way um, our season has shaped itself until now. But we're allowed to dream, and it's a new year, starting in three days. So now it's all about the FA Cup, isn't it? Uh, I think it was January 3rd. Let's click ahead and see, well, whether we can um, put in an effort and hopefully qualify for the next round. Yeah. So it's January 2009 and it's a Saturday and we have to play against West Bromwich Albion. They are in the first division and they are seventh just below the uh, playoff um, zone. And they do have a Peter or a Petter. They look pretty good actually. He's also old. What about this guy? Is he Peter? No, he's Praven. Pretty good name, but not exactly Peter. And wait, did they. Yeah, they play the diamond shape, long ball. That's not going to be easy. Let's see what happens. And one of their star players was the goalkeeper. That's not a good sign either. Um, so, I might want to get him in. So, maybe... Yeah... What about that Ben de Par guy? Is he playing all right? Not really. Hmm.
think I'm going to try kit from the beginning of the match and then Mabasa as my substitute. Uh, and also Crouch. He's not really scoring any goals, is he? So I might as well get Williamson on. And play like this, maybe. How about Junior? Is he ready? Yes, he is. It's just very low morale for whatever reason. He's playing all the matches, but maybe he has problems at the home front. Something like that. Or maybe he's just a sad boy. I don't know. Come on. Some people do get uh, depressed around Christmas. So, very realistic for Junior to be depressed. I mean, look at the German I think I'm gonna maybe start. Oh, yes. Start the next. I think I'm gonna make a tradition of starting the games a little bit slow like this. Just because maybe I know it doesn't have any effect, but it sort of feels like. Oh no. See? Feels like maybe that could help me avoid getting falling behind like in the beginning of the matches but right now when i sped it up then uh the well west bromwich immediately pegged me back and, and now it's 1-1 so yeah but see we got the goal now and it's kid showing me that i was right in choosing him for the starting lineup oh and a penalty yes a very good decision by the referee if i must say and it's final um yes so that should be it it's it's the kind of match of course that we should be winning of but um there's no guarantee with a team like this let's let's see how it goes and then i'm gonna focus of, on um the players that are getting tired of course when when I've played like more 10 minutes more or something of, of match time. So that that means um, Junior. He's not even that tired. It's a bit unusual, but I'm going to make sure he doesn't become tired. Goldberg up down here. What about that Kolovati guy? Is he a sweeper? He is. And he's such a nice guy. He gets to play that position because I don't like Goldberg that much. Van der Parle has the yellow card. Fanerud is a hero and has already scored thrice. So, maybe I should just... Maybe I should just sub him. And two assists from Williamson. That's very neat. Um, it comes off as well. Malbasa can come in and take over the, the corner responsibilities and so on. Williamson can take over the uh, captaincy. And I don't know. Wait, I'll just hold on a little bit before making the last substitution. That's Williamson. That's uh, Massinho, I think. Yes. And that's West Bromwich. Still uh, on the pitch, apparently. And maybe I should it's better to um, to substitute him because of the yellow card and he's more important than that other guy uh, so that's that's two wins out of three for you guys in this episode
and a really good performance from a lot of my players. Well, against the poor team, of course. So it's it's not. I mean, West Bromwich are not um, Premier League standard. So really, we should be able to win this match, but there are no guarantees in this game. So I'm really glad that they managed they managed to um, to actually get the win and proceed to the next round of the FA Cup. We have not won neither the uh, FA Cup or the League Cup in this game, but we did win one trophy. And maybe you can guess which. It's not the uh, championship, of course, so it could only be the windscreen shield that we won in 2001. That's quite a while ago. The League Cup, no such luck. Uh, fourth round is the best. And wait a second, the, the FA Cup, fifth round on two occasions, but no further than that. So it would be very nice to, uh, to be able to proceed further uh, in the FA Cup. But I promised you guys three matches. And oh, Swansea City. That's nice because they're another Division 1 team. And maybe if I just check my calendar. Um, It's um, January 24th, so, right, he's out for a few weeks, so, I don't know, I, um, Peter, 23 years old, he wants regular first team. Hmm. I'm gonna tell him no. Then we'll see how that goes. And then some people are buying a Peter with a long last name. Three, four, four bits. Which means that maybe. Nope. He's not interested. I only have this guy interested. And I did try to sign him from a free transfer, even though he looks quite bad, actually. But he wanted like 150000 uh, a week in salary. Something insane like that, which is probably why no one picked him up. Maybe it's also a sign that he's actually good, but there's no guarantee. And I'm not going to spend my money on him. So, yeah, so Aston Villa at home and Sheffield Wednesday away and then Swansea. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to show you that um, well well what the hell I promised you three matches but let's just do another one because it's going quite well isn't it two wins in a row so if you get a third one then it's the best we've played in a little while and we are actually um, where he goes to find out we're actually uh, on a winning streak. Two matches. So if we get a third one, that would be great. Attempt.
Okay. January 10th. It's Aston Villa at home. <laughs> they are just below. Whoops. And they are playing 352 sweeper formation. Direct play. So I think I don't know about kid played all right, but I'm doing sort of the rotation thing with the, uh, the other midfielder. Feels weird to have number 11 over here, but it's just easier now that I'm switching them around. I just have to remember where to put them. I mean, so yeah, you understand, I hope. Uh, Vandepar. He's number five. Maybe I should do something different. What about my Basa over there on the right midfield? And this guy, Savelle, maybe? I don't know. He's been playing well this year. But Kid is sort of on a, on a roll. And Palinia, no room for him with. One, two, three, four foreigners. Lehman. Yeah, the Lehman problem. So I'm going to move Pille back as one of my central defenders. And then Lehman. He wants regular first team football. So he has to prove himself. Number 11 goes back over there. And then my Basa gets one of those. That should work. I hope. Lehmann is a uh, defender midfielder left. But I figured out he was the regen of um, a Danish player that no one has heard of. Called Mikael Messen. He used to play for Bari in Serie B. I don't think he played for them in Serie A, but um, he was definitely also a he was, he was definitely also able to play the central position. So I'm pretty sure that this guy is as well, which is part of the reason I oh I forgot the thing about playing slow. Part of the reason I got him. Oh, no, no, don't do that. They're getting too many chances. And there's the goal. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, directly on free kick. That's final up. Come on. We used to getting behind. We don't care. We're going to win. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. We're getting lots of chances now. But in every match, it just starts out with the other team scoring. It's so weird. Always behind. Massinho again. He's such a hero. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Ooh. Oh, I thought he was getting the red. Let's see. So we're not exactly hitting the target a lot, but we're the better team out there. And Malbasa is not playing so well. So maybe that was not a good idea. Um, Lehman is all right. Peterson is not playing well in defense. But let's not panic just yet. 
Williamson. Okay. Maybe I should get Crouch in. Oh. So we're in the lead. So if we can just keep this up. And and the, the attacking possession last five minutes. Bar is considerably in our favor. It has been the most of the time. It's a yellow card for Lehman. I don't like this. You're only up one goal. No, don't. It's Junior. He's winning the headers, even though he's not winning a lot of tackles. So it's Williamson and Massenio. Neither of them are really hitting the target, but let's get Croucher on here. Lehman is uh, losing the tackles and we're not playing all that great. Actually, it's only fun of it playing well. Mopasa is all right, I guess. Oh, and Lehman, they're both pretty horrible. Um, and so is Vask. Not good at all, no, no, it's not good at all. What can I do? I can maybe bring on Goldberger and then that other guy. I'm gonna have to wait because I only have one substitution left. Come on, Crouch! No! One substitution. The 72nd minute is my favorite minute for the last substitution. I don't know if you guys have the same thing where you have to sort of be past a certain time on the clock. Um, Brolin out. And maybe... the post so i hope you guys will forgive me for not playing it fast right now i think this is a bit too exciting and it's the last match that i'm playing in this episode because now my my arm is starting to hurt from holding the phone uh nope no 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 oh good so we're holding on for dear life it's too many Villa chances at the moment. It's 27,711 spectators on London Road thrilled by this match, I imagine, because there's been a lot, a lot of shots. Most of them have gone, have gone past the target, but the home crowd might even get a win if we're lucky. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's just take our time. No need to rush it. And it's full time. So, we are officially on a roll. We've got two wins in 2009. And, yes, we're actually, we've actually managed, managed to close the gap. Eight wins, six draws, eight losses. And the goal scoring is almost even as well. So, there's still hope. But um, you guys are going to have to check in with us 
in Peterborough and London Road next next time when I put up uh, the next episode. Um, and I'm not sure whether that'll be well um, the the February or March um, episode because I mean these are all the matches that I have left and I want to skip ahead a little bit so probably it's by the end of February or beginning of March and then I'll do one last episode for um, the final stretch and that should be it on that note I'm leaving you guys I hope your Christmas and New Year's celebrations have been uh, as awesome as this see you guys next time bye thanks for watching <laughs>